Hello, I have here the Aero Spider Rack and I'm going to tell you how I'm going to use it on this particular fat bike. And you're going to see why this nearly did not work. I nearly wasted a lot of money, so hopefully you won't waste any money. Before I go any further, I just want to say this is not a sponsored product video. In fact, I tried to contact Aero to ask them about the rack, ask them some questions, but I didn't get any response, so of course I couldn't inform them about the video. Now, this Aero Spider rack has been around for a few number of years now, but I've not needed such a rack or any rack for my bikepacking adventures. So I didn't know it existed to a few weeks ago, and it's pretty damn good. And given a response from my post of this rack on various media streams, a lot of you didn't know about this rack either. And the reason I came to look for a rack for my bike is because of these. These are bike packing rafts. I wanted to expand my bike packing adventures with rafting too. Now those rafts pack up into something about this size, in fact a little bit smaller, but I chose to show you this because this will show you the true capacity of those cradles coming up in a moment. And to make things more challenging for a rack, besides holding something like this, I wanted to be able to carry two rafts, mine and my wife's. To add to the challenges of finding a rack, this particular fat bike, as some of you may have observed, has absolutely no rack mounting points anywhere whatsoever. So only certain racks, whatever they are, can fit this bike. When I started looking for racks, it did not look good. Now remember, the two things I need are, I need a rack to fit this frame and have some kind of mounting points, and then I need some kind of bag or cradle to hold the rafts. And that particular bit is the bit that really was challenging. While I could buy racks, what was the mechanism to attach the rafts? Now, by fortunate chance, while searching the interweb with an ever more sinking feeling, I saw the Aero Spider rack on fatbike.com's Instagram feed. And I thought, wow, that's just what I need. So I looked around in the UK, found it was available, and I ordered one. The cradle comes with just one cradle, so I ordered another two cradles on top. And you may be asking, why did I want three cradles when I've only got two rafts? Well, the third was for just in case. It allowed me to explore the kit options for this particular rack. I wasn't sure what I wanted, and I had not seen any try to do what I wanted to do. And the thing to note here, I could be just wasting all my money. This was pure chance speculation that this is all going to work out. You'll see why wasting money was a big possibility in a moment. So as you may have deduced by now, this rack comes in two parts, the rack bar and the cradle. Now the rack weighs in at 1.46 pounds or 584 grams thereabouts, and each cradle weighs 0.78 pounds or 312 grams. And since I needed at least two cradles, and one rack, this total shebang comes in at three pounds or about 1.16 kilos, not particularly light. It just happens that three pounds on weight was negated by the fact when I got this bike, took it apart, rebuilt it with lighter components. One of the things I did do was take the existing wheel set, this man's clip and rebuild the wheels with carbon rims and a tubeless setup. And that saved me the three pounds now that this rack is going to put back on. You see, I knew this was going to happen. You spend money to lose weight, and then you spend more money to add more weight. The swings and roundabouts of bike packing, except the money part. And the thing you probably want to know most importantly, and I haven't told you yet, is what this costs. Now the rack on its own with one cradle comes in at about 100 UK pounds. Each cradle comes in at 57 pounds. Not cheap, but from what I've seen out there and what it has done for my bike packing setup, this is an extremely good deal. Now, up to this point, I did not realize till like after I bought this rack and posting it up on Facebook, my bike pack setup, that there actually is two versions of this rack. No one mentioned that, not in any of the reviews I read, and I did read a lot, and I went through a lot of pictures just, just to see how this Aero Spider rack worked and whether it could work for me. I asked Aero using their messaging thing on their site, but I got no reply. Not good, Aero. So, the rack I have here is the normal rack. There is a wider rack for fat bikes, especially those with the 197mm width hubs and tyres more than 4.5 inches or wider. That version of the rack is only available from Aero, as I understand it, 
but I did not see it anywhere on their website. So when I bought the rack, I was not entirely sure this was going to work. Was it going to fit that tire? Was it going to fit my frame? From all the pictures I'd seen on the rack on the wide bikes, it looks like it would, but I was not entirely sure. So I was taking a bit of a punt here. The only way to find out was to buy it, take the chance and see how it went. Now, as you've probably gathered by this video so far, it worked out okay and I'm very happy with the result. But I had to make a few adjustments. I had to... and a bit more. And try again. That rack is actually very strong, which actually is a good thing. But it took a few bit more persuasions of doing more to get this to work. But when it did work, this is what it turned out to be like. Pretty neat. It sits on the bike seat stays very well. And with these four inch tires, I have about a 0.5 inch gap on each side. So very happy result. The rack is held on with these nylon straps, two for each side. They hook on to this slotted bar, which moves up and down by this adjustment screw. Hooking on the straps is a little fiddly, but it is quick. The only thing I would say, minor niggle, there is nowhere to store these straps when the rack is not fitted to the bike. So they can easily get lost. So what I've done is I've made a little tie, elastic hooky thingamajig out of some bits and pieces I had. And as you can see here, this keeps the straps in one location when the rack is in storage. Not an expensive thing to do, very easy to do. Aero, you could have provided something like this in the first place. Now the rack stay mount come with rubber shields so the frame is protected. While the straps are made of nylon, they have a sticky rubber coating on one side to prevent slip. As you can see here, I've added protection anyway, just because that's the thing I do. So minor niggles aside, and the fact that there's absolutely no advertising for the fat bike version of this rack is non-existent from what I could see. This rack is very, very good in my opinion. It's simple, it's quick to fit, it's strong and stable. Heck, you can even hold it by the back here and lift the whole bike up and use that as an aid when you're carrying your bike out and about. Now to the cradle. The cradle mount is secured by four belts and can be orientated in effectively four directions, two of which are only useful. This is okay for what I need, but you may find this a little limiting depending on your needs. Importantly for me, I can still use my existing Epidura large capacity roll up saddle bag. I like reusing kit where possible with the different cradle positions and multiple cradles that you can fit to the rack and that with existing bike kit. I have a lot of options for future adventures, depending on where that is and what I want to take with me. At the weekend, I did load up the bike with the two rafts, paddles and a seat pack. As you can see, the rafts, while low on the bike, do not interfere with pedaling. And if they did interfere, you can always move the rack up and back to move it out of the way if necessary. So that's about it. I found the Aerospider rack simple and effective. It fits securely to the bike, but is quick and easy to fit and remove. Apart from the bending bit, the normal rack can fit most bikes, even this fat bike with tires up to four inches. You will have to go to Aero specifically to find that wider version if they ever respond to you. Now I say most bikes because I have a bike, in fact, where the hydraulic cable runs down the seat stay on, on the top. So fitting this rack is actually not an option for that bike, but I think that bike is an exception. So while expensive, especially if you max out on the number of cradles, it will last for years, providing you do not lose those mounting straps. Aero, provide a tie for the straps. It's a really simple thing to do. It doesn't cost much. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, then do please give it a thumbs up as this tells YouTube that you like this video, which in turn helps this channel grow. To see more videos like this one, or my mountain bike route description videos, or my new pending bike raft videos, be sure to hit that subscription button and turn on notifications too. Again, thank you for watching, keep well, keep safe, and I'll catch up with you guys next time.